He's going to come and have words. Good morning, Greater Grace. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Bishop Harper and the First Lady and this congregation for having me once again before you. It's always a pleasure to come here, your hospitality and the warm greetings and just the blessing that you feel when you even enter the parking lot. It's just amazing. I was here before you last year when I ran for state representative, but at that time, I guess it wasn't exactly carved out for me to be in that particular office, and I still serve you on the Inkster City Council. I look forward to ser continue serving you because I stand on diplomacy, advocacy, and I love being your advocate, hearing your concerns, and seeing how I can implement change on a daily basis that enhances the livelihood of all of you, not just in Inkster, but any city that I can step in and assist. With a 11 to 12 year background in telecommunications, what I aim for is continuing to move Inkster towards a more modern style of living so that those resources and everything you need at a moment's notice can be at your fingertips, such as emergency alerts, when we're looking for children who are missing, if we have a criminal who is on the loose that is trying to be apprehended, and just keeping you safe overall. The election is coming up November 7th, 2023. I appreciated your support last year and all that you did in extending the word that I was running for state representative, and I ask that you do the same and reelect me to Inkster City Council so I can continue serving you in the capacity that you deserve. I appreciate your support, your prayers, and everything that you all do in your church for the wider community. Please prayerfully consider that, and thank you all. God bless you, and have a great Sunday. <laughs> 